Monitor arms are a great addition to any desk setup. With a monitor arm, you have a lot more space on your desk, as well as you're able to adjust your screen to your liking. A monitor arm is usually a one-time setup. You adjust it to your liking and then you never touch it again. However, with the arm that I designed, you're going to be moving it around pretty quickly. This arm allows for several different reclined positions, sitting positions, and completely laying down on the bed positions. You can enjoy your movies, you can play video games with it, you can read online, and pretty much just surf the web and do all other things you can do with a regular monitor arm attached here. Let's get to it. I started out this project with one goal in mind. I wanted to be able to watch movies while reclined in bed. So I designed this first arm with just that in mind. This arm does not rotate at all and it is limited to only moving up or down with uh, two screws here and there. But I quickly abandoned this design because there were just too many parts as well as it will most likely wouldn't have worked because of the weight of the monitor. I doubt that this uh, particular design would be able to support itself even if I tightened those screws in the center of both uh, pivot points, it would still not be able to support the half a kilogram weight of a monitor. Same goes for the first original uh, monitor design. Um, originally, I planned to connect the monitor to the arm on the side, like so. But once I assembled that design, um, I quickly realized that it's just not going to work because uh, this particular um, attachment would create too much torque at the insertion point uh, where the monitor connects to the arm so that it will never be able to stay upright. I would always have to uh, adjust it and uh, tighten the screw so that it stays in the position that I want it to be. So I decided to uh, connect the monitor to the arm at the center uh, because that way it will still have all of the range of motion that I want, but it will totally avoid the issue of having that torque and having to uh, constantly uh, tighten the screws of the monitor. And then I uh, found some inspiration from uh, just the existing monitor arms and the way they work. Uh, so I settled on having one section of the arm to not be adjustable other than uh, being able to rotate. And then the second part of the arm will be the part that goes up and down, which is analogous to almost any monitor arm you can find uh, on the market. I think this design is excellent uh, because having the, both the bottom and the top section of the arm to be adjustable uh, up or down would be redundant and it allowed me to um, create the monitor arm to be much bigger since I wouldn't have to worry about uh, the, the, the torque caused by the monitor weight so much uh, since only one section of the arm is adjustable. Modern day monitor arms use compressed gas to keep your monitor upright and prevent it from falling. In my design, I decided to use a spring to counteract the torque generated by the weight of the monitor. The reason why I settled on that design is mainly because I just had two springs laying around and investing into a pneumatic cylinder or just other ways of um, compressed gas would have been too expensive and would have been more difficult to incorporate into my design. Um, with that said, I did have some issues with um, fine-tuning the necessary amount of torque to prevent the monitor from falling. So I decided to incorporate a adjustment to the monitor arm with a screw near uh, the base of the second half. By adjusting that screw, you're able to increase or decrease the torque to support the weight of the monitor, just like in a real monitor. I wanted the arm to rotate smoothly when you adjust it, so I 
used steel shafts and ball bearings in each of these spots. But it turns out that that made the arm too smooth so that it wouldn't stay in one place at all. In order to add some more friction to that, I used magnets. So each one of these sections here actually has several magnets uh, glued onto it, as well as a metal disc, basically a metal big washer that I found at Home Depot. I glued the washer onto uh, one part of the arm and I glued the magnets to the other part of the arm so that when it rotates, the magnets create just enough friction to prevent it rotating on its own. And that seemed to work. Overall, I feel like this was a great project. I am quite happy with how the arm turned out in the end, despite having different obstacles along the way. I feel like I achieved all of the goals that I had for this project going into it, uh, and also learned quite a few things about engineering through uh, the different setbacks I encountered while designing the arm. If I were to redo this project again, I would probably choose a different kind of screen. This was just a salvage screen that I had from my old laptop that I was no longer using. Uh, it would have been really nice to have the screen touch screen. Whenever I'm using it, it, I feel like it would just benefit it a lot just to be able to touch the screen instead of having to use a mouse or a keyboard. But other than that, I feel like this is a great project. I had a lot of fun doing it. And I hope that if you choose to do it yourself, you will enjoy it just as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project and I'll see you in the next video.